Okay, welcome back to the Living Color podcast slash show slash whatever uh, whatever you want to call it. It's good to be back here for uh, the second episode. My name is uh, Matt Woodward, and uh, you know, in a week, it's kind of crazy how much can can change really, and and. Uh, I think now more than ever you really see that as you know, as true. It's uh by the day I, I feel like just even watching like a little bit of these briefings and press conferences, I even tune in for like a minute or two and I almost have to turn it off because I don't even know where they're at right now with some of the some of this stuff. Well they the way they're some of these questions and the way that they answer them and how they're trying to like spin it in a certain way and make it sound like they're doing a great with the, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's a, it's a whole crazy topic. And then to see that there's, I think the one today says Wednesday, the eighth, I believe April 8th. Yeah. And, just to see the one today where they're like trying to get pe- people back to work and like that was the one I was like I was saying last week and that they need to something's gonna happen where they these jobs they can't be out for too long but at the same time you can't you can't rush something that you don't know really especially the, like a pandemic obviously something like this and so to see him talk about it today and he it's gonna be interesting I mean obviously I'm trying to like you. You can, this is I'm in Colorado right now, and it's a statewide mandate where you got to if you're going out in public. I it's not. I don't think it's required right now, but uh, I think it's like recommended to wear a mask or like handkerchief or anything really at this point, uh, covering your nose and your mouth and just so I. Uh, you even see it in. In, in in most of the businesses you go in, uh, it's kind of like at the point where if you if you're not wearing one, uh, you like you kind of get like weird looks and people kind of like trying to steer clear of you and all that. But yeah, it is a wild time and so much can change in just a week. But it's taking taking me a week even just to get on this second episode. But. I'm still trying to, you know, work out the kinks, obviously. Uh, I'm kind of filming in here in, my, in the backyard. I think I got, like, the neighbors over there. and I mean, they're kind of like a like a, a ways away, I'd say, almost two football fields away. So it's quite a distance. Then you obviously get the, the view of the valley a little bit there. and So I'm kind of just kind of figuring out the setup right now. Uh, I think it's either... I, I I really I was trying to figure out like the lighting and and a whole bunch of things like how I want to have like like a whole kind of like set design really and it's it's taken me a while to, like I said in the first podcast that or the first podcast slash show <laughs> I might roll with show more than I mean a podcast is a show at this point podcast is really sort of excuse me sort of one of the you know dominant mediums in the in media right now and so I'm, I just don't want to I don't want to label things too much really about you know podcast or show or you know label it this or that you know but yeah this like just trying to figure out the setup and just trying to eventually you know finally get this thing started took a took a while took a you know when I went to college back in 20 you know I started in 2011 as a freshman and then did actually five years to the super senior year, uh, which I at like Castle and University, which I, you know, I don't regret at all. I had to, you know, I was a few credits short of, of you know, graduating as a, you know, four years straight as a senior. And so I was like, you know, I, do I just go back for one semester or do I go back for the full year? And I eventually decided to do the full year. And so 
you know, when I was studying broadcast media, as I mentioned in the first show, that you you kind of it's kind of such a wide field that there's so many things you can get into. That even just this was in 2011 when I when I was a freshman, just kind of I originally wanted to get into as a as as like a on air host and an anchor for a show, but it's 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 limited in certain fields. Like you know, in news, it's limited where you can either anchor, you can be a sports, you can be the main anchor, uh, you can be like a field reporter, a porter, uh, sports reporter, meteorologist. So it's varying, but it's it's uh, limited in what you can like talk about. You can't just talk about whatever you want, obviously. So this, that was kind of around the time when podcasts get started getting started, about like 2010, 2011, when it was kind of like an extension of radio, of being able to, you know, say what you want and feel what you want, do what you want. And, you know, you look at people like Howard Stern and – uh Opie and Anthony and like those shows like those radio shows where they're doing it's more than radio it's not just talking about like daily subjects it's 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 a whole it's a whole sh- program it's a whole show it's a whole it's kind of almost kind of like a a version of a lifestyle for a show you know and that's really what I was trying to I was trying to think how could I be u- unique how could I be different from everyone and there's so many you know genres and so many like a variety of shows that how how could I how could I get started and it took me even t- up until this point almost a f- you know a pandemic you know but uh yeah I'm still like trying to get comfortable with it like obviously I'm in my f- fucking backyard I don't mean to swear but I'm in my backyard here uh and that's one thing like even just getting comfortable like swearing like talking about anything like stories, uh, anything really. That's something that you just gotta kind of embrace, and you know, that's what that's what makes it fun, I think, and that's what kind of draws the viewer in. So, you know, what's gonna happen, and that's that's kind of like one of the one of the main reasons why I'm doing it, is because you can do what you want, say what you want, and I'm excited to excited to start. This is only the what the. Yeah, the second episode here, so just trying to make sure everything's still going. Like I said, I'm working out the kinks here. You see this, like this is it's a whole setup I have going here. Look at this. I got the I'm not shooting on really an H D camera, you know. This microphone setup isn't it's all just like it's kinda of thrown together, but you know, I need to start it at some point, you know. I'm about to be I'm this is April. You know, I'm about to be twenty seven in May here, so it's about time, and I'm excited to start doing it. I'm not really, you know, my, I'm not trying to set any any of my expectations too high with anything, really. I mean, that speaks for a lot of things right now. <laughs> As, you know, not to say that my love life isn't anything at this point. You know, I've been single for forever, and you know, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a problem with it. But you know, at a certain point, I think, I don't know, when you go through, through like a pandemic. I kind of wonder about how people in relationships are handling it, really, you know? It's kind of like, I feel like it'd be great, but then obviously you have days where, you know, you got to work through it, but at a certain point I feel like that makes it better, right? Like, that you got to make it stronger, I guess, but, yeah, it's it's a, it's a crazy time to be single uh, in a pandemic, that's for damn sure, like, you can never... <laughs> You can't plan this one any any better, right? But I don't know, man. I'm I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to have like the second episode here going. I know the sun's kind of going down. That's kind of why I'm doing this here in the backyard. The lighting's not bad, you know. Uh, still trying to like, as I said, work on the setup, and you know, when the sun's hey, the sun gives you the free the free light. You gotta take in the beautiful Colorado sun, you know, going over the over the Rockies there, and over the foothills, I should say, of the Rockies, but, yeah, I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm seeing all these, uh, seeing all these ideas being floated around recently, in, in the past week, since I even done, you know, the, the first show, uh, 
about how the MLB. Oh, see, here we go. Bumping, running in the, bumping the stand here. Uh, I see how the MLB is uh, thinking about having just teams play in Arizona uh, and kind of quarantining all 30 teams. All th- I believe it's 30 teams, 32 teams. Uh, I believe they're gonna quarantine the teams and like you know isolate them, uh, but not have like their families for. I believe they they were thinking the duration of the season. So that's an interesting I that's an interesting idea that's thrown out there. I don't know how that's going to be I don't know how that's going to be well received by the players, you know. I I, th- I saw something on the Pat McAfee show. Shout out to Pat McAfee. Uh great new YouTube show. I wouldn't even say new at this point. He's been doing it for a couple of years and he's dominating right now more than ever. Uh and he, I saw that he, I, I believe, talked to someone linked to the NF or linked to the MLB, uh, or he quoted Jeff Passan, who talked. I, I can't remember. What, don't you can't quote me, obviously, but I believe it, it was Jeff Passan who talked to an MLB player, uh, who said initially that he was not, or that yeah, he was not down. He would not. He would not be willing. To go play in Arizona for the duration of the season, you know, just because he he wouldn't want to be as from his family for that long. He wouldn't want to, you know, be I like whatever whatever the multitude of reasons. And and then I guess a, maybe a day later or two, he had a conversation with his wife, and his wife was like, "You gotta do what you gotta do to you know provide for the family." And and he kind of changed his tune a little bit. And I'm I believe I don't I'm assuming that would be something that you know some players. Yeah, I'm. I'm, uh, I'm curious just to see how how it's going to be received by by players. I'm sure that some players will, you know, will kind of will kind of fall along with that. They'll ha- they'll originally be like, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't I don't know how f- how I feel about you know playing for months in, in Arizona. You know, I being isolated like that, and and then I'm sure that they, you know, their significant other, I'm sure, you know, will, will kind of you know get in their ear a little bit and be like hey you got to do you know whatever it takes and you know their minds may change a little bit and but at the same time i think that's going to kind of require for the ml you know the mlb to change a little bit and it's been you know years in the making and they they've been kind of behind the the eight ball on that one you know as as is kind of duly noted at this point you know they it's kind of sad to see how how far that they i wouldn't say it's you know they've fallen off too, f- you know, drastically. You know they're still a popular sport in America, but you know it's. I think th- you know they're they're kind of on their back foot at this point. Really, they're they're struggling to to catch up on the social game. Obviously, they they have these copy copyright laws. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, they have these copyright laws where you know you can't really post their content online because it's you know MLB copyrighted and. They there's there's some things that they're they're they really have to figure out and I think one thing that they they kind of you know one change that you saw that they implemented and it's kind of something that they could have done years ago but it's kind of nice to see that they're they're finally doing it and it could be implemented f- you know for a long time is the, the 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 players on the field mic'd up you know I think that's a great thing I, I obviously at certain points where you know, in critical situations or, you know, ma- not even critical situations. There are there are plays that do, l- that that happen in the beginning of a game that matter. We, you know, if you play baseball or you just follow along with baseball, you know, uh, just even like the little plays matter. But, yeah, I think I think having the players mic'd up is a great thing because it kind of, le- you know, gives a little insight into what the players are thinking. You know, it gives a little, it gives a little more, it adds a little more to the for the fans, you know, and I think that's needed in the game of baseball where, you know, you do have times where you're just kind of sitting around and, you know, you, you just wait pitch by pitch. It just, it, it can drag, especially, you, you know, it's one thing if you're in the stadium, you, you know, I think it's, I think it's kind of, I think it's a shared opinion that, uh, you know, it's it's one thing to go to a baseball game at the stadium, 
but I think it's another thing to watch the game on TV. <laughs> now, if you're like me, I you know, personally speaking, this is just for me. Uh, you know, I played baseball like growing up, so it's one thing I can I love watching baseball on TV. You know, if you're asking me to watch the, you know, the Marlins and you know, pick any team, I don't not not to single out the Marlins or anything, but just any any team like that. Any any team that I don't really have a remote interest in, two teams, you know, I I don't know if I'm gonna watch that game, but it, that, the same can't really be said for football or even even NBA at this point. NBA has has games where there's two teams on uh, in a night, and I I'll watch the game if I even if I'm not really if, even if I don't give a give a damn who's playing. Uh, but baseball, that that's one thing they're. They're trying to figure out, and you know, to see them try to try to get these games in Arizona in the in the coming months, and I don't, I, it's gonna take a lot, and you know, one thing that I've been reading and kind of hearing from from like the media media members, I should say, is, uh, I think it is is kind of, it, it, there's there's a there's a weird. It's a big discussion and kind of like a weird one that, you know, hasn't been had in a long time, maybe if ever. Uh, I think sports are, you know, they're needed right now. And uh, I believe it was Max Kellerman on First Take uh, who who was saying, he I think he was quoting Franklin Delano Roosevelt, president of the United States, one of the former president uh, back in the day. And. He was saying that you know sports are needed in a time in a time of crisis like this because it you know it gives the people a form of entertainment and gives them you know kind of not only distracts them but you know it can give them some some joy bring them some happiness and but at the same time I think I think the we're in such a t- we're in a time where there's such a limited amount of tests you know I know that's improved since I lasted my show last week. Uh, I'm sh- I'm assuming it's improved because they're they've been trying at this, but you know, I I if if it's not it it is a bad look to have a professional sports league where you have thirty to thirty two teams, whatever it is, uh, and give or take twenty five men on twenty five men on a roster, uh, and then you have the medical and personnel, and you have the the managers and the and the staff. Pitching coaches, hitting coach, all that, the essential personnel on the team. You have all those people getting tests, right? But you don't have people from the general public who can, you know, just go out and get tests who are, like, really sick and who might need it, you know, especially in, you know, some of these vulnerable categories that they talk about. So it's a weird scenario. And then you see it's kind of like a it, – it brings you to another thing that's going on in the sports world – in the same sort of situation as Dana White, the UFC pre- president, uh, I believe he's still a UFC president. I know he sold it with the, you know, the, I believe the, F- T- what's his name, Tillman Fertitta, Fertitta's I believe, uh, Tillman Fertitta, I'm not sure if it was Fertitta's, but, uh, don't quote me on that, but yeah, you have, you see, you just see Dana White where he's he's looking for international fights. He's looking to to I'm not sure if it's either buy a private island or lease a private you know rent lease buy I believe it's buy a private island uh, and just have international international fights there uh, and then just fly the fighters in you know have them tested uh, and. I, he's not he's not giving a location on it he's not really telling the media where it might be at and you know i think he i i have respect i do respect and i have respect for dana and i do believe he is walking a fine line though uh with with this i think he's in sort of i don't want to say like an easier situation than a, than a league like the major league baseball because it's one thing where baseball you know is a lot of players on the field at one time and you have a lot of you know players and you have a lot of staff but with fighting you're actually you know exchanging 
you know, exchanging blows and punches and bodily flu like fluids, everything with you know with fighters and in in, in, a, in such a small space and you know it is one thing if they can get them tested, you know it, that's one thing. It it does require less testing, but at the same time, you know if it, it kind of brings up that that same. I don't know if it's a ethical question, uh, but what do you, what do you do? Do you? I mean, he's he's going full steam ahead, having that fight on uh, I believe April eighteenth. Uh, he's going full steam ahead. Tony Ferguson uh, versus Gaethje. Uh, since uh, Habib Nurmagomedov uh, is back in uh, Dagestan, his homeland there, uh, he he's out of the fight for the f- he isn't out of the fight for the fifth time but the fight in general is canceled for the fifth time and you know obviously it's one of those most one of the more anticipated fights in UFC that like you know people can remember and I'm just like a kind of a casual follower at uh, the UFC that's it's it's sort of a, a wild it is a wild sport like it's you know I, it's so hard to it it's hard to really describe what you're seeing, you know. Like it, t- it takes a different type of human being to enter a, a cage like that, you know. Pretty much in your, you know, almost your underwear, you know what I mean? Just like these tiny shorts in an arena like that, and enter a cage and hear him close that cage door behind you with another man or woman, you know, across from you, and you're pretty much fighting to rip their head off, you know. Like that is a. It's a whole. You you can't even believe it, you know. You can't even describe it. Some of the, some of the fights you see, and that's what that's what makes it so like great at times, you know. But at a certain point, like I'm not the I'm not into the I'm not really big into violence like that. So it is tough for me to watch at times, you know. I can't really take blood like that, uh, you know. I can to a certain point, but you know, once it starts all over, once it gets all over the mat and it's, you know splattered like that, you know. I, I can't really take it, you know, it's, it is a lot, but Dana White, he's full steam ahead, he's doing April 18th or 19th there, I believe it's 18th, that Saturday, next Saturday, yep, a- April 18th, he's full steam ahead, and he was, he was on uh, Get Up this morning with uh, Mike Greenberg, Greeny, and uh, he was, Greeny was trying to get it out of him, he was trying to get a location, because Dana hasn't released it to the media yet, and Dana was just like, all I can tell you, it's on ESPN, and then, you know, Green A, of course, kept trying to get it, you know, get the answer out of him. And Dan was just like, ESPN. ESPN, pay-per-view. ESPN Plus. You know, like, that's it. So, we'll see. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I. It's a weird time. It's kind of... It's, it's not a money grab, I don't think, at this point, obviously. And it wasn't before. I think it was just one of those things where... Sorry, I keep looking over here. You know, there's so many fucking bunnies around here that's like you just look around they're everywhere and like even just over here there's like f- f- four of them off camera not only that there's like a there's a whole other thing off camera over here i can't even describe it i haven't obviously touched it there's like coyote bones i'll try i'll try to get a video of it over here there's like a coyote skull or bone and carcass i don't even know it's like carcass from last summer that it's just down to the bones. It looks like something out of a museum or something. It's crazy. I'll try to get a video. But, yeah, I think uh, it's kind of wild that they're full steam ahead with the UFC fights. And, you know, they do have to get these sports leagues back. I don't know how the NBA is going to try to get back. You know, I see they're trying to do a horse competition. But is it going to be enough, you know, to, you know, for for the viewer? I I don't know. I don't I, I, I don't know. I think it was just announced a little while ago before I started the show that they were going to have, uh, you know, select players. It was Trey Young, Chris Paul, and Zach Levine. I uh, a few uh, NBA players that I saw. And then they're going to have WNBA players and then uh, former NBA players play in a horse competition. And I don't, you know, I can respect what they're trying to do, and I appreciate it. But I just don't know if it's going to be enough right now. You know, I I just don't know. I don't think it's gonna be enough, and that's sort of the sad thing, yeah. Uh, because it was such a great season, and like going this, you know, it's sort of. I'm trying to think. 
like maybe in like 2000 between 2000 and 2010 and probably before 2010 probably 2006 2005 you know I, I was still playing basketball growing up all the way uh through high school and you know I loved I I liked the NBA I loved basketball but I liked the NBA I loved college basketball more than the NBA because I love and I still almost do to this day I still love college I, it's sort of sh- it's kind of crazy how it shifted when I was a kid I kind of you know I thought I could play college you know I was like oh you can just go to any kind of school like that and you know play college and then you know once you kind of get to seventh eighth grade and you know freshman year of high school you kind of realize you know you're not as good or not as tall or athletic as you need to be to you know be a d1 athlete but maybe you know d2 or d3 but then you you know those aspirations kind of go to the wayside real quick but at that point, you know, you 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 love college basketball, March Madness. It's the fa- the fans, the you know, college game day, the shows, everything about it. And I, I, I something about like when when you like, there's like a certain shift. I think like in that in that time where you know you uh, you kind of see what the NCA is, how like they're making all this money from from these schools, whether it's in, in, in programs like football, you know, like the football program, how you see like LSU's making fifty six million or something like that in a season a couple of years ago in a football program, just football alone, and that's enough to pay for all these other sports in the, in a college's program, athletic program that take losses. Like mo- almost every other sport, you know, takes a loss, but the football program in these D one schools, especially these big conferences, you know, you see how much they make, and you know. Like they do these these football programs fund these other sports, and you kind of realize obviously the importance of them, uh, especially with the TV deals and all that. Uh, but like you just see how much money is being made, and then you realize, wait, the the athletes aren't getting any of it. It's just the NCAA, these random guys who, you know, these random suit old 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 folks who are, you know, sitting on their couches at home, probably watching these games and you know making all this money off these kids' backs. All you know, like that's not right and, and there's that certain shift where where you go from where, where probably like 2005 to 2000 you know 10 obviously it's that five year period where I really shifted into being an NBA fan and you know uh, and the NBA started to be gained prominence on it and then you see like the decline of the MLB a little bit with steroids and all that with you know when they're going through Congress or whatever and uh Balco and Bonds, McGuire, all those guys. Sammy Sosa, Sammy Sosa, he's another he's a guy. You know, that's a whole other topic for a whole other day. But no, you just you know I, you you kind of you see where 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 uh, where like the your interest lies, I guess. Uh, um, and yeah, the. So I think like the the NBA, this was like a a banner year, Com- like I, I I really believe so, and you know it was kind of like a, I believe 2010, like that finals when it was Lakers Celtics and Kobe Bryant's Lakers, you know versus Paul Pierce and KG and why well, shouldn't yeah you know R I P to Kobe, God bless, but yeah it was Kobe and like Powell, I, my you know Lakers and and. uh Against that was like an unbelievable series. I believe it was seven games, and uh, yeah. So like this, not to say that like the past few years of the NBA haven't been incredible, incredible. Because this entire past decade has been from 2010 to 2020. You you really see how the NBA has made an incredible leap in popularity globally. You know, not just in the United States, but just globally. Uh, and and just to see, you know how the, how everything sort of evened out finally in like a dynamic duo way. How every almost not every team, but you know, you know the teams in major markets had had great duos. You know, minus the Knicks, the, you know, because James Dolan can't get his shit together. But you know, most of the most of the teams in these big markets and teams that even even teams that you know aren't 
aren't really ones that you consider like you know fan favorites like the you know you gain interest in them like dallas mavericks when you have you know obviously like the mavericks they do have fans for sure but you know when you when you have a duo like luka Doncic and Kristaps porzingis you know it's like like it's you know it's hard not to like i can root for them i really could and i'm, I'm not even you know and i do like mark cuban too you know i respect mark cuban he's a great owner uh but yeah, just seeing just seeing some like like a duo like that, and they're they're spread throughout the league, you know. And just to see this NBA season cut short in such a way when it was bleeding and it was such a great build into the playoffs, it's a it's a tough thing. And uh, you know, I I don't know how I don't I don't know how they're gonna try to get back on track. You know, I know that there's there's so many like discussions that I think that they're trying to have right now with should we uh whether it's you know have like a five or ten or fifteen game runway for the last you know regular season to try to get that that tell local t v money because that's the big thing in all this is the local t v money you gotta realize uh is that like they need that local t v money I believe they hit seventy two or seventy games I believe it's seventy games to get that local television money and that's how you know that's how the owners make their money uh a majority of the revenue i wouldn't say majority but a good amount of the revenue uh and so they, they're trying to hit that mark but at the same time you know they're they don't want to run into that that time where the nfl is starting its regular season and they have to compete against the nfl and ratings on tv because you know then they they won't earn as much you know like and you'll you'll see that you know viewers they'll obviously see a you know a precipitous i believe that's the correct word you know a drop in viewers you know and they're they're obviously aware of that so they're trying to they're trying to get it in but i believe before august or september but i don't know it's going to be interesting to see what the what what they're what they're playing and is and to hold fans over, I don't know if the horse is going to be enough. I don't know if this horse competition is going to be enough. And I respect that. I respect the idea. I respect that they're, who, especially who they have. You know, I like Chris Paul and Trey Young and Zach Levine. Like those are all great players. But I just, I don't know if it's going to be enough, really. And it's, uh, it's sad to say because, yeah, like this, this season was so incredible, and just to have it. Just to have it end. But obviously, you know, there are more important things, obviously, you know. Not not to make light of a pandemic. Because you can't. You can't right now. Uh, you can't even really go outside of the house. You know, that's why I'm doing this in my in my backyard, really. Uh, but, you know, you can't make light of a pandemic. But at the same time, like, <laughs> the, you can't even describe how much of a, how, how much of a robbery I'm sure these players feel and, you know, even even fans. I'm sure. I'm sure how fans feel at this point. Yeah. Uh, it's. Yeah. I, I mean. They're they have, there's some some decisions they're gonna have to make down in uh, in New York, and I'm sure I'm silver. He's 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 getting on. To, he's I'm sure he's trying to. Get it, get it together. But, uh... Yeah, it's... I'm, tr- I'm, I'm trying to do this show a little more, you know, often. I think right now, you know, just with my setup, uh, it's probably going to try to be, like, a weekly thing. Um, and even, even, even so, like, it's, uh... You know, I still, I'm still... As I mentioned earlier in the show, that uh, you know, I have to get my setup down a little bit more. Uh, but that's not even really what's most important right now. I think what was most important for me was just starting this and just starting the second show. As you can see, even the sun's going down on me right now. You know, we've lost light here a little bit, but no, it was just uh, important important to do the second show and you know i I i'm trying to find a way 
or ways um, to make it more unique and creative. Like, uh, what what can I do? Like for clips, you know, um, and like what what stories I can tell. Um, I mean, I can tell any story I want, you know. Uh, but I think of what you know. I'm trying to find just certain ways to 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 put more con- content out but at the same time uh you know work my way up to to getting a better production you know that's why i want to have like you know one or two shows probably one one show really right now a week uh and even at this point a 40 45 minute show it i you know i'm doing this all solo i'm setting it up obviously and editing and putting it out but you know i i it takes a lot even just to do the 40, 45 minute show. Um, but that, that's kind of, I think that's right now, that's kind of what my bare minimum, you know, I'm trying to do f- at least 40 minutes, I think right now. Uh, and even still, there's going to be times where, you know, f- I think even 40 minutes, like it, I don't even know if I'll even reach that, like, like half hour, you know, but, I think I thought I had my drink here somewhere. I know there, I know I have a drink around here. I keep licking my lips over here. I'm trying to. I need a drink. What happened to it? Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I just I I I just want to find a way to make it more creative and you know separate myself kind of with just telling certain certain stories and having certain clips and. You know, uh, and even with my like, clips, I want to just, like, kind of almost introduce segments. Sort of like what an actual, like, TV, that one's, oh, you know, what an actual TV show would do. You know, almost, not not like a rundown, but, uh, you know, just talk about certain topics, I guess. And uh, in, in, like, in clip form, sort of outside of a podcast, like I'm doing now. Um. Uh, and another one of my hopes was that I was really hoping uh, to eventually have guests on. You know, that's one thing that I think uh, I, w- I would. I got to tell you one thing about about this low, I wouldn't even say low budget because it's not really low budget. It really wasn't. It really isn't, I should say. It's, you know, one thing about it, though, is that. You know, I kind of have to, you'll probably notice, I have to kind of break it up. I believe it's every, like, 12 minutes or 14 minutes. Uh, just because my, the camera times out, I believe. At least the one I have right now at that at that point. But I got to actually get up and get a drink. So I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm feeling refreshed and replenished. Shout out to, I believe it's Proper 12. Conor McGregor's Proper 12 there. No sponsorship yet. Hopefully, uh, one day, Connor, we can work that out. If you saw my five or six bottles in the room, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm trying to. There's so many things I'm trying to do with this, and trying to make sure I haven't like you know, def- like certain clips, uh, and like tell certain stories and have certain segments and talk about. Uh, you know, a variety of things. Like I, I think I think I mentioned this in the first show. I want to do. I want to talk about. I want to talk about. You know, s- like sports and culture, comedy. You know, entertainment. Mu- you know, music. I want to do music reviews. I want to do music reactions. You know, I want to react to new music that I haven't heard, or you know, mu- new music that was just released, or you know, mu- um, music that some of the people out there might recommend for me to react to or or listen to uh or or review you know i want to get into all this and this is stuff that i've been trying to do for such a long time and you know i had a i think i did my uh, initial i think i did a reaction to kid see ghost the kanye west and kid cuddy uh collab album that they released in 2018 uh and uh i did a little reaction to that and and i thought you know it was i did it in my parents basement at the time and I, that was when I was really, really gonna try to start living color, and 
and then I kind of realized, you know, you definitely need a mic and you need, you know, at least, a, you know, a couple of real, you know, little things. And I was kind of far away from, you know, that at that point or even really planning or budgeting it out for that. And, you know, I, the idea was there, but uh, to kind of react and review like albums and, and new music at the time. And, you know, that's something I'm definitely still trying to do. And I'm definitely going to uh, do a lot more. Uh, there's there's so much that's like happening though that it's hard to you know it's hard to kind of keep track of it all and it's not even with music that's not even like there's no real like main focus of this I guess the only main focus is to you know just to talk I guess to talk with people and you know just express how I feel and you know talk about you know just I guess life you know everything everything and anything and uh you know one thing that i eventually want to do is eventually want to have guests on i want to have like my you know friends on and you know like people that i look up to and you know i'm not really like planning on or you know expecting anything like that right now but you know that's something i'm trying to you know eventually get started and i hope to eventually like later this year you know and i hope you know eventually sort of when this sort of slows down a little bit uh, that I can, you know, actually do that and have people on, but that's like a whole other thing I'm trying to figure out is like, you know, if I were to have guests on, how would I do it? Would I have, you know, them in person, you know, if they were in Colorado at the time, potentially, or, uh, you know, if it, if it wasn't, it feels like virtual, you know, would it be like an app or, uh, you know, anything like that, but Another thing that I was, you know, I'm really trying to do because I've been inspired. I'm inspired by like a lot of, a lot of different things. That's uh, a lot of different shows really on the internet at this point. Uh, way more, way more so than TV really. Uh, and it's kind of been like that for a while. I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels like that. But you know, I've been I'm inspired by, uh, you know, shows like you know, like uh, Church of What's Happening Now with Joe, you know, Joey Diaz and Lee Syatt. Uh, shout out to those guys, you know, Joe Rogan experience, obviously, uh, you know, brilliant idiots, Andrew Schultz, Charlemagne, the God, shout out to those guys, you know, a whole, a whole lot of Kill Tony, there's so many of them, uh, you know, Monday Morning Podcast, Bill Burr, even your mom's house, you know, Tom Segura, all those guys, Tom Segura, Chris D'Elia, Fighter and the Kid, you know, Brandon Schaub, Brian Cowan, you know, Chris D'Elia, you know, I, I'll, so many, you know, congratulations to Chris. There's so many podcasts like that, and that those those guys all inspire me. And I'm kind of, I'm not trying to be one of them. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to be like them, but you know, I'm trying to take, you know, my like, I'm trying to kind of grab my inspira- inspiration from them, and then try to figure out how I can be new and unique, and uh, and kind of have my own lane. Uh, and that's, that's sort of with like a variety of things, like, uh, in, in a variety of interests and topics and, you know, like sports and, uh, comedy, entertainment, music, you know, culture, whatever's happening in the world, all that kind of melted in one. And that's, you know, I think all, all those guys, you know, all have like the similar, you know, similar interests kind of in, in one way or another. And uh, I'm trying to find my, you know, I'm trying to just kind of hone, you know, hone my own and, uh, you know, figure out my own way in this. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how, I'm, you know, how I'm going to do this every week. That's kind of, but I think that's kind of the exciting thing. Because even right now, I'm just kind of going off the top of my head, you know. Every kind of 12, 14 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, uh, whenever that thing kind of clicks out and I have to, you know, stand up and restart it and stop, you know, the recording and, you know, get back to whatever I was saying or, you know, try to remember whatever the hell I was saying before, you know. I, I, I just, you know, I kind of, kind of regroup and, you know, I'm like, all right, we yeah. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of like a re refresher, and that, that's kind of what's in, you know, 
what the nice thing is about you know the low budget at this point but at the same time i do you know i have so many like my aspirations one of them is to eventually live stream because that was one of the reasons why you know i I fell in love with like the joe rogan experience uh so much like a few years ago was that you know he was going live with so many guests every day for hours and they were just talking about anything and everything and you know, doing whatever they want and just having like a bunch of fun and there was you know thousands of people watching it you know it was a ama- you know and you felt like you were part of something special and you know that's one thing about the live stream that I'm gonna eventually try to do uh, so you know I'm excited to start this and even still like we're already up what almost 46 minutes now and you know that's there's no real time time pre- you know time restraint for any of this and you know, eventually, uh, what I wanted to do uh, is eventually turn this into, like, my main career and eventually, like, maybe tour it live and do it places and have, you know, and, you know, have guests and, and live and, you know, eventually, there's, like, there's just so many, so many ideas that I have for this. Is, like, not only tour it and do it live, but also uh, up on the deck, you can't really see at this point, but you know, like, with the view of Red Rocks, where I did, like, the first, uh, the first show at, uh, you know, eventually, I want to, like, kind of, kind of, you know, mix in a little bit of music there, you know, performing music, you know, because I, I play guitar, you know, I play a lot of guitar lately, you know, the past couple of years, so, yeah, I know, uh, self-taught, really, and, you know, I have, like, my little, my little beat pad that i use Ableton with and can mix a little bit and you know I want to eventually like go live with that and then switch between you know doing like a show podcast you know for maybe you know however much time 10 20 minutes you know half hour and then switch to music maybe for a music mix for 20 30 minutes and then you know switch back to talking for 20 30 minutes and then and you know switch to music and you know just like mix it in a whole lot there's so many things I want to you know eventually do with this that I'm excited just to you know, get started and have, like, the ability and, you know, the time and, uh, uh, like, the, the aspiration, you know, it's, it's such a, it's a, it's a lofty, you know, thing to try, you know, try to do, you know, uh, you know, I, I can't, it's easy to get down, I think, with it, I think it's gonna be easy to get down, and it, it's, obviously, I kind of learned that by now, it's taken me forever even just to start this first and second podcast and show whatever you want to call it <laughs> there's that word again every, every time you know i'm not afraid to call it a podcast at all you know i you know if it were to be labeled that i would love it you know because that's that's i feel like it's more important that's more that's a, a more important medium than radio right now uh you know radio is important don't get me wrong and radio is really what when i went to college like i was talking about you know earlier uh, when I went to college in 2011 trying to study broadcast uh, media, I originally was like, you know, I love TV and I want to be an anchor, but, you know, I want to have my own radio show. And I had my own radio show at the at WIUV at Castleton, Castleton's, uh, Castleton University's radio station, 91.3 WIUV. Mm-hmm. And uh, from all five years, all five years at Castleton, I had a radio show. Uh, every Thursday night, and I would perform like a three or four hour mix, and uh, I would, ha- you know, it's it's kind of what essentially like a like an earlier version of what I'm doing now, it, like it, almost like to a T, you know. I would perform, I would have like a rate, you know, I would have a mic, and you know, I have like the airwaves, obviously, big big soundboard, and then I, you know, I could just, I can, you know, have like just like they kind of. They kind of like play you into like the time zone, you know, or like you know, it turns to dead air, it just turns silence, and then you come on, obviously. And and uh, I love, I loved having a radio show. I would just talk, and then just mix, you know, my music. I sometimes would play original mu- WDY music, uh, and I would just perform like a set every every week, once a week. And you know, I I lo- I love and I miss it. I miss doing that, uh, but at the same time. I'm trying to do exactly that, but in like a a, a different form, and like an, a new and improved form, and that's what I'm trying to do with this. But you know, it's it's gonna take a little while, 
you know, and it's going to look, a, I think it's going to look, a, you know, it is, it is you know, it's going to take a little while, and uh, it's going to look a little weird, I think, you know, no doubt, it is going to look a little weird, as you know, as you can tell, I mean, I got, I got just the lighting, and I'm doing it in my backyard with, the, you know, the valley shot here, and it's going to look a little weird, but, I, you know, I wouldn't want to do anything else at this point, and I'm, I'm excited to start this, but, uh, you know, I just thought I'd wrap it, wrap this up with saying, you know, I just hope that you're, you know, still being, you know, maintaining positivity at this point. I know it's hard being cooped up inside all this time, but, you know, I hope, I hope you're still, you know, trying to be positive and, uh, you know, trying to, trying to improve yourself, like finding things that, you know, you've wanted to do for a long time or, you know, you've always wanted to do, uh, and, and, and doing those or just learning new things or, you know, improving anything, improving your life. Uh, and e- even if that means just getting outside and just walking around and not sitting on the freaking couch all day, you know, cause even me, like it's took, it's taken me, me a lot to even just do the second one here. Like I could have just sound, it, it was a beautiful day all day today. And I was just chilling on the, on the porch and sipping a little bit as, you know, as I'm sure, you know, but I just, I don't know. I, I I just hope that you're you know you're 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 doing well and trying to still be happy and still be positive. But you know it's it's a wild time and I'm sure it's only going to get wilder. I know they keep saying it seems like every other day they're they're saying uh, you know this is going to be you know the worst week or this is a critical week. But you know you, you really do got to listen to the medical professionals and. Uh, the people who who've been who've been doing this their whole lives and studying this stuff, you really gotta listen to those people and uh, and listen to their advice. And but at the same time, you that yeah, it can't stop you from living your life. That's the key. I think you you gotta continue to you know continue to improve yourself, continue to try to be happy, continue to maintain your positivity, uh, and continue to do what you want to do. And uh, and use this time, like utilize this this time as uh, as like a free time, or it's like you know, you know, time where they're just giving it to you to you know, here's time where you know that you've been working hard all this all these years. Here's this time where you can finally use it to do what you want to do. I know you can't go anywhere. I know you can't leave the house. But if you're in your house and you got stuff that you've that you can that you've always want to do that you can do in your house, you know, do it now. Like like maybe learn a language, anything, learn a language, anything. Like play, learn guitar, anything. Play guitar, do whatever. Do even if that means that could mean just sitting on your ass and sitting on the couch or whatever. It doesn't matter. Do what you want to do. But that's it, and that's that. You know, you just gotta be positive, uh, keep being happy, and uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, you know, do the same. I'm gonna try to be happy, try to be positive. I know it's, it's gonna be, it's tough for me. You know, it's not easy for me either, but. I think now more than ever, you know, it's about doing what you want and uh and and not and not settling. You know, and not and not just getting down and being down all the time cuz it's easy to be down. You know, you can easily you can be down all, you know. For, you could be down your your whole life if you want. You could just be bummed out and woe is me and sit around on the couch and, or you could just, you know, do use this time. Do do what you've always wanted to do. And or just do you know relax or recoup any anything, just anything. So, but that's it. That's that. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're. Like I said, I hope you're happy. I hope you're staying positive, and uh, you know I hope to I hope to catch you again soon. I hope to record again soon here in the coming and days again. You know I hope. But uh, until the next time I see you, uh, I'm gonna sign off here. Take care of yourselves. Be happy. Be positive. And uh, that's it. That's that. Take care of yourselves. Signing off here. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. Good night.